Hello and welcome to Squirtified Engineering. It's now time to start a new segment of the channel, which is general car care, because I need to wash my daily driver and uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it and uh, the, the products that I'm using. Uh, so let's mm -hmm. have a look at the victim. So this is my 2005 Peugeot 206. It's only done uh, 51,000 kilometers. Uh, it does have uh, like there a ding in the roof and some other small stuff. But the big thing is how dusty it is. And there are some, that's a new mark. Hmm. Bad. Um, but that's the the problem here in Sweden. And here you see some more of the dirt. Even the rear window is a bit dirty. Here we have some of the products that I'm using. And these car care products are basically the only ones I buy in Sweden. So these uh, uh, contain products from BBV, Bollnäs Bilvård. Uh, so I buy it in bulk and uh, when they have them on, on sale. The same goes with this uh, snow foam cannon and the adapter I bought uh, initially worked for the high pressure washer we have at work but then they switched that one so I had to uh, buy uh, one which fit to the new one but that one didn't fit in the snowlands so I welded uh, an adapter for that I also use <laughs> this wax shampoo i mix it with wa water and use it in the in the snow foam um, just when i want um, wax normally if i use so this is the the light duty degreaser this is the shampoo and this is the heavy duty degreaser the shampoo does not contain uh, any wax so usually I uh, put on a layer of wax after uh, by hand but if I don't have time for that I just use this shampoo which contains wax so I will start with the heavy duty degreaser in a regular spray bottle and just Spray it on. I will do uh, cover most of the car in this since I think it's been uh, at least one month or actually three since I cleaned it before. It's still on the steel rims so I will continue with this and then uh, let it sit for a while and after that I will take the next step the heavy duty degreaser has been uh, soaking for a while it's still uh, wet and I will not uh, wash it off Instead, I will uh, start with the foam lens and do the uh, sort of light duty degreaser. So here we go. It's a bit tricky to film at the same time and uh, I think I need to adjust it a bit so I will be continuing without the camera so now it's soaking 
in, uh, in the light UT degreaser and uh, I will leave it like this for a little bit but and normally sh you shouldn't do this but there are some areas which are a bit they had some more dirt on them so I will just agitate them a bit with a sponge uh, I will introduce more scratches by doing this but I will take care of that at a later point point. and uh, uh, the products that I'm using for my daily driver aren't the same as the one I'm using on my Supra just so that you know I think it's about time to uh, to wash off the degreaser and continue with the next step. So I will use the high pressure washer just to wash it off. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> With the foam on the car I just agitate it a bit with a regular sponge which I've uh, rinsed in water beforehand and let's see if we can we will see afterwards if there actually is a mark here or if I'm lucky and it's just dirt Shampoo round one is finished. I've rinsed it off and now it's time for a quick round with the wax shampoo just to, to have something protective on it. So the wax shampoo is on and according to the instructions I should not rinse it off with a high pressure washer so I will use a regular hose. And, uh, then it's time to wipe it dry. When drying off the car, I will be using this speed detailer. Just spray a little on the microfiber. It's a touch of pink. And then just wipe it down. My daily driver is now clean again. But I'm not too happy with the speed detailer. It does, I think it's a bit hard to see, but it leaves some uh, sort of greasy streaks. And it's not supposed to go on the, on the windows, so I'm not sure about that. And this one was a proper uh, mark, and I can feel it with my fingernail, so it's quite bad. But uh, that's what you get for living in Sweden. No one cares about other people's cars. So it's quite clean now. No more dust. But uh, it could really use a polish. Maybe some paint correction even. To remove all the defects I currently have. It's not really the same uh, reflection as on my Supra. Maybe I should ch change to the summer tire tires, um, but the winter is coming. Um, so there is a bit of, as I said, greasy streaks on the paint from the detailer uh, but uh, yeah it's decent